M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we, we've decided we're going to make a CB dipole. So we're just going around looking at what we've got lying around. Now, I've got, I always keep, if I, I had a G5RV, I threw that away, but I always keep the wire. So, and I've also found this, which I didn't realise I still had, but a nice one-to-one um, -one balance. So that's going to help with the SWR. So what we're going to do, we've gone to a calculator, which you saw at the beginning of this video. We've calculate, calculated that we need two lengths of 2.62 meters uh, to get us on about 27.200 megahertz. So let's do it. We'll, so what we're going to do next, we've got two connectors here. So we're going to put one on the plus, one on the minus. We've got a nice long patch lead that I can run outside because we're going to, and then we've dug out this really old CB which I don't even know if it works, but it doesn't matter because if it doesn't, I can just do receive on my uh, H on my ham gear. So, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. I mean, I, I'm from a CB background. I wouldn't say that's my the reason I got into ham radio. I've been interested in uh, communication since I was a very small child, watching television, seeing the gadgets, the small small black and white televisions in America. Um, Starsky and Hutch with CBs in their cars, things like that. That's what got me interested. War, any war film where they were using walkie-talkies. I've always had an interest in communication uh, and, and, and gadgets and technical stuff. So let's cut these lengths. Right, so we've got so a tape measure. We've got lots of wire lying around here. So let's uh, clear out the mess. And let's measure the first length. So we're going to lock it at two, was it 2.6 something, 2.62, wasn't it? So 2.62 and then we'll lock the tape measure. Two points, let's get it right, 260, so still longer. And we're gonna hang this outside and 62. So there you are, <coughs> got that. And let's uh, run this bit of cable here. Think about this. I don't like using steel cable because it, it rusts, doesn't it? Um, but come on, it's only for a bit of fun. So we've got a decent bit of wire cutter here, which actually struggles to cut this um, steel cable. So we've uh, taped the one end of the wire here. Yeah, I thought I'd uh, I've taken uh, taken the lid off the the ballon. That's a good quality ballon, isn't it? So how many wines you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wines. Nice, good quality ferrite ring. Just looking inside there. And I think the whole point of the ballon is that the coax, the outer braid, there's more I don't know, ohm resistance uh, than there would be with the inner core. And this, this balances it out. Pretty sure that's what it does. Let me know if I'm wrong. So, we're going to stretch the right to the end there. You can see at the distance, we're sort of balancing it with the dustbin there. And then we're going to cut it. Okay, we've cut it. A bit of twisting around. We've cut it. Mazzy's here to check. And we've cut it there. So, there you go. And we're going to do this twice. 262. Okay, let's cut the other length. And put the lid back on the ballon. Like so. Okay, we have two lengths, 2.62 meters. Let's connect them to the to the ballon. So we're just literally, we haven't got any rings. We'll just clean off the ends a bit to make sure that there's there's contact, and then we'll just loop them in these rings. Just gonna get some wire brush. So we got um, found one of these little sort of wire, sort of these blocks. Just cleaning the end with that. There we go. Give that a clean. Just listening network radios at the moment. Just turn it down a bit. A couple of people chatting there. So anyway, we've uh, got one on. We had to put a couple of washers here, hold the cable. Now we just need to find another couple of washers for the other end.
Okay, we're connected now. Two lengths of 2.62 meters. It's definitely harder using steel wire. That's why I had lying around. So we're going to go and hang it from a tree now, and then we're going to connect the my. I've got an antenna analyzer. See what it says. All right. So we've got an adapter for our network analyzer, which is here. We're going to calibrate this for 27 megahertz. I'll show you how we do that as well. So our patch lead will go from here to the radio, and then the analyzer will go here. Like so, when I say from here, I meant to the, an to the antenna. So the antenna will go here, and then we'll plug it in there. We'll have a patch lead between here and the antenna we just made. So to calibrate this for C CB, we need these three little things here. One's called an open, one's a short, and one's load. So what you do, you tap the screen, click calibrate, click reset, so we've reset it and then click calibrate. Now one of these is called open and it's the one with a hole inside. But actually, before we do that, let's set the frequency. So we'll go back, go stimulus, and then this is where we can set the frequency. Um, start. So we'll start it from 26 megahertz and then we go stop. We'll go 29 megahertz, okay? Right, so then we're now going to do the calibrate. So we'll put the one on up with the, with the hole in it that's called the open. Okay, I know it's a bit bright. So, if I can dim it down a bit. Right, it's trying to get it to focus. Anyway, so, start. Well, so now it's calibrate. So we go back, calibrate, reset calibrate and it wants me to select connect the open which we've connected click open we only have to do the first three okay and then we've got click connect what they call the short it has like a little spike in it but there is no insulator inside it so we click short you see the blue line come up and then we go with the load which is longer one but it has a white insulator inside so we click load. Okay, and then take them off like so and do um, ISO. And then to do the last one, you join them together. That's called the through. So we just wind that on like that. Now I don't really need to do the last bit, but we're gonna like so. bit fiddly you just do these finger tight and we'll click through and then done okay you take them off and now we can get our patch lead and go over to the antenna and we will we'll save it to zero and the thing about saving it to zero means that's what it will boot up on when you turn it on so whilst we're in here let's just connect the lead to the channel zero and to the adapter. Here, it's gonna go here, on here, ready for when we connect to the uh, raid, to the antenna. The other thing I've done is connected a, a motorcycle battery to this old CB, I haven't even turned it on yet. So it does come on, whether it works is another matter. So you can't see it too clear, but the dipole is going from the tree across to that tree. Hanging down in the middle is the, is the ballon with the coax. Patch lead here, which we're about to connect to the adapter. Okay, so we've got it on the adapter here. You can see it's showing... It's not, it's, it is a bad SWR. It's showing just over three. Um, but it could have been a lot worse. So let's hook up the CB. I'll put an SWR meter on as well, and we'll see what it says. So the CB is on, but it's not making any sound. 
turn the mic gain up, RF down, volumes up. I know the microphone's not in, maybe that's what's causing it. So we might have to, um, we'll try an extension speaker, um, but we might have to um, get my ham radio. And as you can see, the coax, the patch deal I've got, I've actually made a choke, a choke ballon for it as well, which basically stops the antenna being used, the coax being used as an antenna. So we're getting there. And we you can see here, we've got, we're dragging in a load of rubbish. See the RF gain up will help that. So maybe an extension speaker will sort it. We're probably going to try the antenna out on the 10 meter band anyway. Yeah, so no joy with that extension speaker. So the CB is kaput. Now you can pick these up very cheap these days. So probably pick one up cheap. Okay, we've got the Zygu on here. Obviously we can't TX on 27 megs. So, I'm not sure what these spikes are. Now I've just checked it on on tuning on so we can we can TX on 28 megs. And it, it is tuning. Um, right, let's go. Let's go down here. And remember, we tuned it for twenty seven on FM. Now it's it is wide FM, which I think is a bit strange. We just want normal FM, not wide, don't we? Ah. NFM. That's narrow. <sighs> now, where I am, there aren't, aren't actually many CB stations, as you can see. Yeah. So we're just playing around really. Just seeing if we would hear anyone. Um so really nothing to <laughs> Nothing to write home about. It's going to pick some stuff up regardless, isn't it? Because it just will. That's 20 meters. Thank you. 
stuff for very large as well as because they're um, most difficult best of them is all the things of the high rent over here. And so that's you know the new group. So uh this is always a uh You can always pick something up on a wire, aren't you? So, okay, fun time. So, just having a bit of fun, really, just passing time. So, 7 3, thanks for watching my channel and uh, trying to make a basically uh, 11 meter dipole. 7 3, all the best.